when I started this show over two years ago now, I never thought of this far ahead. Uh, I never thought this would be a reality. But today, just after 6 p.m. on the 24th of September 2024, the state of Missouri executed 55-year-old Marcellus Williams. The case against Marcellus Williams was weak at best. There was no DNA evidence that placed him at the crime scene. Hair samples that were found did not match his or those of the victims. A bloody footprint did not match his shoe size. And in fact, the murder weapon that was located also did not have his DNA present when tested. The prosecuting attorney's office came forward to say they were concerned about the conviction of Marcellus Williams and that they believed there could be evidence to point to his innocence. It was also discovered during further investigation and testing that in fact DNA belonging to one of the original prosecutors in this case was on the weapon. This prosecutor would later admit to handling the weapon without gloves on multiple occasions, as did many others in this case. This mishandling of key evidence in the case destroyed any possibility of proving Marcellus guilty or innocent of the crime. The main evidence against him came from a former girlfriend, a woman who at the time was working as a sex worker and living and sleeping out of Marcellus's car. The state's other key witness was a criminal who had recently been released from prison. Both of these individuals stood to gain financially from reward money that had been offered for information as well as leniency in their own legal battles. The prosecution at the time leaned heavily on a laptop owned by the victim that was sold by Marcellus after the murder. The man who took the laptop from Marcellus testified to the fact. However, what he was not allowed to testify to was that Marcellus had told him that his girlfriend had given him that laptop. Further items belonging to the deceased were also found in Marcellus' grandfather's vehicle, the same vehicle his girlfriend was not only sleeping in, but reportedly using to conduct her business as a sex worker. This case had far too much reasonable doubt to convict him, let alone kill him. But that is what the state of Missouri did today. Was Marcellus Williams a choir boy? Absolutely not. Did he kill someone? Well, the only person who truly knew the answer to that was Marcellus himself. But when we look at the evidence, or lack thereof, there is, in my opinion, too much reasonable doubt for the state of Missouri to have killed him. What frustrates and saddens me about the discussions surrounding this case is the way people have dismissed it by saying, well, a jury of his peers found him guilty. As if that's all they need to hear. No ifs, buts, or maybes. The belief that the system doesn't convict people without evidence is seen as unshakable. But tell that to the 153 people exonerated from prisons across the United States just last year. And the over 200 men and women who have been exonerated from death row. Tell that to Evaristo Salas Jr., who lost his entire life convicted of a murder he didn't commit. Christopher Dunn, Temujin Kenzu, Damien Skinner, and the estimated 20,000 others wrongfully incarcerated. The system is flawed, and the system gets it wrong. People would shout about Marcellus Williams. He's guilty. My question is, what if he wasn't? Well, it's too late now. What has been done cannot be taken back. If one day the evidence finally comes to light that truly exonerates Marcellus Williams of this crime. What do you think will happen? Do you think anything will happen to those who killed him? Do you think there will be any repercussions for that? An act that could only be described as murder? No, there won't be. There will likely be some official who comes out and apologises and says, we got it wrong, we're sorry. And that will be it. Nothing more. When jurors who are on the case oppose the sentence of death, 
when the prosecutor's office come out and actively try and reverse the damage that was done, and when the victim's own family oppose the death sentence, then what are we doing this for? This is supposed to be about apparent justice for the victim. What it really boils down to is politics, yet again. Marcellus Williams died today when it could have been stopped. There's obviously people in the community uh, who would, you know, listen to your story and people would turn around and say, oh, well, you know, this guy was a career criminal. He was in and out of prison. You know, why should we trust what he says? Right. What would your response be to those people in the world? My response would be, you know, if you believe in democracy and you believe in the justice system that's set up in this country, then you understand that the rule of law is supposed to govern. Mm. And regardless of, you know, whatever, if... I was a career criminal, you know, I didn't understand a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, and whatever I was going through, those choices that I made in those other cases has absolutely nothing to do with this case here. Everything is supposed to be judged in the light in which they come and being presented to people, yeah. especially if you're a believer in democracy and you believe, you know what I'm saying, in the judicial system as it's set up. Because if you don't believe, if you like selective in what you believe in in regards to your judicial system, then how would you have a rule of law? It would be nothing but chaos. Yeah. It has to, the law has to apply to everybody evenly. So in everybody within context. Yeah. Nice meeting you, uh, Jack. Nice meeting you. You too, sir, and I will talk to you very soon. All right, God okay. will. Take care. Okay. Bye-bye.